Hey, what's up guys? My name is Achana. Welcome back to my C++ series. Today we're going to be talking about what it means to be safe in C++ and just in general the whole debate about modern C++ and safety. Because I feel like this is an issue that has been circulating for a really long time. It's, I feel like it's kind of the more complex C++ we actually get to in on this channel with all the various projects and this series, I feel like more and more people are kind of a little bit confused about what the correct way to write C++ is and like just there's been so much debate on my discord on reddit everywhere about just in general like how to write C++ in the modern day because there's all these people of course who are saying that modern C++ is all you should be using you shouldn't be touching things like pointers like raw pointers at all ever you don't even have to teach that because it's not even worth knowing because it's very bad but then there's the flip side of things which people say uh, people are saying smart pointers are terrible, don't use them, they're like performance overhead, whatever, like just raw pointers, be a man and use a raw pointer, that's all you, all you need. In fact, you know, be a man and manage your own memory is kind of a, a, a thing as well. So I just want to kind of talk a little bit about what all of that means so that people who are kind of new to C++ and in general people on my channel have just a bit of a greater awareness of what things like that mean and where you should be concerned and what the right choice kind of is. Um, so we're just going to kind of talk today and I might write some code or at least so show some concepts, but really this is just going to be a little bit of a casual open discussion. Please participate by leaving a comment as well with your thoughts. I really want to know what this community that watches my videos, that watches my videos actually thinks. Furthermore, I do have a Discord. The channel.com slash Discord is the link to that Discord. So it'll be somewhere on the screen and in the, in the description below as well. So definitely check that out um, because that's a whole, like I think there's like over three and a half thousand members on that Discord and we talk about C++ and graphics and game engines and everything all the time. And lately I've been kind of more active on that as well. So anyway, what is, what, what does it mean to be safe in C++? So, Safe programming or the concept of kind of programming in a way that does that hopefully reduces things like crashes or memory leaks or access violations um, is something that's kind of the hu I, I feel like the human race has kind of been improving on as time goes on. So the, with kind of the introduction of C++11, we started to, I would say, move towards concepts such as smart pointers in favor of raw pointers, primarily because of the whole issue of having memory leaks, as well as not knowing what memory has actually been allocated or freed. Because really all of this can be summarized into a simple problem. I need to allocate memory on the heap. That is a huge operation in itself. If you guys haven't seen my heap versus stack video, check that out um, in the top right corner um, because that's really useful to know. And actually other videos that I recommend you watch before watching this one is definitely the raw pointers video, which has C++ like pointers in C++ and also the smart pointers video because that's kind of what we're going to be talking about today. And specifically again today, I want to focus on pointers and memory rather than like other things like exceptions or, you know, other, other type types of safe kind of programming or things like, you know, error checking, whatever. We don't care about that. For today, we're just going to be talking about pointers. So when we started kind of gravitating towards uh, smart pointers and all that, it can really all be summed up into the fact that I want to allocate heap memory, right? That in itself seems to be such a complicated part of programming that we've constructed all of these kind of constructs and systems and ways of dealing with that in a way to automate it and hopefully reduce human error. And all of this can be tied really into human error, right? Smart pointers and kind of automatic memory management systems exist to make, to make programmers' lives easier. And not just easier, but more robust. Meaning that you don't, you know, it's, it's not about the fact that you don't have to deal with certain things anymore because they're automated. It's also when you forget to deal with, with certain things, you are fine because it's handled for you automatically. So the concept of memory allocation itself is really simple, right? I want to allocate, and by memory allocation, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about heap allocation. I want to allocate a block of memory on the heap. Right? What happens in that case is you get a pointer back. If the allocation is successful, you get a valid pointer back to the beginning of that block of memory. And it will exist until you explicitly delete it. That is the whole concept of what I'm talking about, really. And the problem comes from, I guess, a few aspects. There's the problem of 
what happens if I forget to free my memory? That's an issue because that will cause a memory leak, which could be completely harmless and you wouldn't even notice, or it could be catastrophic and it could be the result of, a, of your program crashing because you run out of memory. Then there's also the problem of ownership, right? So who owns the memory that has been allocated? If I, if I have a raw pointer, just a pointer to that block of memory, and I start passing it from function to function or from class to class, who is responsible for managing and potentially cleaning up that memory, right? That's the ownership problem. Because if you start just having a raw pointer around, then what you know you know there will be kind of programming scenarios in which you have function a that manages it function b that manages it you're not sure which of those functions is going to finish with it last but you need both of those functions to actually have access to that pointer so how do you say that okay at the end of those two functions completing their job that's when i want to free that memory that's not possible unless you can explicitly say, I'm going to run function A, I'm going to run function B, and then at the end of that, I'm going to have like a third function or something that is guaranteed to run after those two functions are finished, and that is what's going to perform my cleanup step. And that obviously massively complicates the whole programming, uh, just, just programming really. And that's something that we definitely want to avoid. So that's another kind of ownership issue. But really, there's just forgetting about deallocating memory, which is kind of more of a simple problem because the solution to that really is just you know, to be a little bit more attentive when you're programming, which again, isn't something that I'm saying, like, that's not, that's, that's hard to say, right? Oh, just be a better programmer. You know, that, what, what does that mean? Like, that's so arbitrary. That's so, like, you can't just say, okay, well, yeah, I guess I should pay more attention to my code when I'm programming. That's not a solution, right? That's just, I'm just saying that that's something that would be a potential hypothetical fake solution to the problem is yes, to be a better programmer. And then you wouldn't need to worry about, more like kind of more complicated constructs in order to delete memory that has been allocated by yourself explicitly, right? But then there's also the ownership problem, which is I have a bunch of different functions that require access to this data. When all of them are finished, I want to clean up after that data. Like I want to be able to deallocate that data, but I don't want to have to explicitly build something that like manages that ownership or transfers ownership because that's just going to massively complicate things. And I'm going to have to kind of keep track of that manually. And I know that when another programmer comes up with a team and decides to write something else that manipulates that memory, they're going to probably screw things up. Okay. So those are kind of the two big issues. Um, and the reason why we kind of, um, want to automate the deletion of memory, but really when we talk about safety in C++ and specifically all of this smart pointer stuff, we are specifically just automating one simple line of code. And that is the deletion of memory, the freeing of memory. That is the only thing we're dealing with. Okay, in two, in, in pr primarily in two ways. And again, the Smart Pointers video covers all of this. So this isn't really new information in this series, but it's just as we kind of go on with this series and with this channel, we're going to be actually building applications soon, building frameworks soon, building actual production code soon. So because of that, I want to just kind of be on the same page with all of you about that. Automating that single line of code is, can be very important. Okay. And I firmly believe that yes, in 2018, doesn't matter about, in fact, I, I almost regret mentioning in 2018 because it doesn't matter in any time, right? In any kind of realm, it is good to automate a lot of things in programming, right? Specifically the kind of freeing of memory, because it seemed to be such a fragile and pedantic kind of operation that people just screw up all the time, right? So yes, smart pointers are really good. You should 100% use smart pointers. Never in my life would I say, you know, raw pointers only. That's stupid, okay? And I think, I think everyone agrees that that's stupid. Not using the C++ standard kind of library smart pointers, you know, that's fine. Some people may choose to write their own, right? Whether that just be a scope based pointer, which is the equivalent of like SCD unique pointer, or whether that be like a reference counting system, which is basically the equivalent of an SCD shared pointer. That's fine, right? And then you can introduce concepts like weak references. That's also fine, right? Or weak pointers. That's fine, right? You can make your own constructs. I have nothing against that. Sometimes prefer to do that both for kind of the ability to customize them to their own needs and maybe try and squeeze out specific platform, you know, platform specific kind of performance constraints and concerns by writing their own system, which they have hundred percent control of. Totally fine. Right. But if you choose to go with a 100% raw pointers kind of strategy for your software that you're building, it's not that you're a bad programmer. It's just like, why, right? Like why, why do that? It doesn't make any sense. And 
the thing is, I, I'm somewhat guilty of this as well. Like, if, if I'm running code really quickly, I'll probably just default to using raw pointers. The biggest reason why I do that is because in the scope of things, they are still, for me personally, easier to write and easier to read because there's no thought that goes into them. You just put a little star and you're done, right? And then if I want to, I can choose to delete memory, but it probably doesn't even matter. Because again, I'm talking about the con the context of a simple sandbox application, which probably won't be more than a hundred lines of code because I just want to test out one little thing or whatever, right? And of course then in that case, it's like, well, you know, am I really going to start dealing with smart pointers? Like why that's going to kind of turn my code into such a heavyweight burden, right? Whereas if I just had raw pointers, it would just be kind of cleaner, easier to read, and I don't care. I don't care if I never free my memory. I don't care about ownership, right? Because all I'm writing is a little app. And there are a lot of people who say, well, yes, but even in a little sandbox application, you should be using smart pointers because people are, might see your code and might learn from it and might, be, and might do that everywhere. But that's stupid. I mean, think about it really, right? <laughs> Why on earth should I not be able to write a raw pointer for a little sandbox application? Like, how, like, pedantic and ridiculous do you have to be to decide that I'm never going to type out a raw pointer in my life? Like, that's... I just don't understand why. Like, some pe a lot of people I have met in real life are actually like that, which is a bit annoying to me. And people, some people just completely freak out when they see raw pointers or when they see me write raw pointers, which to me is very confusing because like, hey man, it's not like I killed someone. I just, you know, I just decided to kind of manage memory myself a little bit. Like, oh no, like it's so kind of silly. It sounds so silly to me. And maybe that's just me being like, not really taking responsibility for the fact that I do have like over a hundred thousand subscribers and a lot of people who watch my videos and learn from them. And maybe I should be more responsible. And then, you know, it's almost like, you know, if a child sees me crossing the, the road on a red light, you know, if, because I don't want to wait for the light to turn green before I run across the road, like then the child sees that, like that's, that's kind of a bad, I'm being a little bit of a bad influence on that child, even though what I'm doing is fine, right? I know it's fine because they're on a cars and you know, I don't want to wait for the light to turn because I really need to hurry up. But the child sees that and I'm a bad influence on the child. Is it kind of like that where I should be writing raw pointers? I shouldn't be writing raw pointers at all because some people watching my videos might get the wrong impression and might not have the full context of why I'm doing that. Like that's certainly a, uh, please don't restart my computer in the middle of recording. Thank you. Because if this video fails, I will be very upset. Anyway, I better talk before Windows 10 restarts because I'm recording my audio through the computer and anyway, it doesn't matter. The point is I'm probably dragging this on and I just really wanted to kind of talk about this. So that's what this video is. But anyway, my point being that I think that people should uh, a little bit stop about the whole raw pointers versus smart points thing in the context of a real framework, a real application that will be used by people and might be production code. Yes use smart pointers. It is a very, very stupid move to not do that, both for maintainability and kind of reliability of code, as well as really just, just being able to write code freely, right? Without having to worry about when will my memory get freed? Oh no, I forgot to delete. Oh no, what happens if I stop passing this pointer around? I'm going to lose ownership of it. All of that is solved with smart pointers, mostly, right? Maybe threading issues and other kind of things might be solved because of course, shared pointer is not thread safe and there are a bunch of other constraints that come with using smart pointers. It's not like, not like the, the solution to memory in general, but, in, but of course, just speaking typically, the, the, the typical case is that they do help you a lot. So yes, you should use them. And we will definitely be using smart pointers as we get into more serious code. Don't get me wrong. It's just that at the stage of learning C++, I firmly believe that you need to, you need to know what a raw pointer is. You need to know how memory actually works. Why? Because smart pointers are just a wrapper on top of a raw pointer. That's all they are. They're additional auxiliary code around a raw pointer in order to automate things, which essentially are just deletion, right? And freeing of memory. That is why they exist. And if you don't know what a raw pointer is, then you're not, you, you're not aware of what's happening behind the scenes. And since I'm trying to teach all of you to be good C++ programmers, not just I'm capable of writing C++ code, but more like I'm capable of writing real-time kind of performance-critical production C++ code, 
you have to know how everything works. That's why I made videos on how the compiler and the linker work. And that's why I like going in depth into my videos because I'm trying to teach you guys how to actually be good programmers in C++. And in order to do that, you need to understand how things work. So if a char pointer scares you, then there's an issue here in what I'm trying to do. And obviously your goals aren't meeting my goals for what I kind of want to teach. So that's something that I think as a community, we need to talk about a lot more because yeah, it, it just ends up kind of, you know, pe people end up saying that, oh, you know, I'm teaching rubbish C++ or whatever because I'm using old kind of things. But the fact of the matter is in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, there is no factual information about you should never use smart pointers or you should always use smart pointers. Those are two opinions in the real world. What you use will matter a lot on what you what it is you're actually doing, right? This channel at the end of the day is just my opinion. And in my strong opinion, you need to know all of these old things. You need to know how C++ works and how all of these things work in C++ if you want to actually be a good C++ programmer, right? That's it. That's my strong opinion. If you don't like that, then you probably, you know, there's plenty of other good C++ resources out there. I by no means am the only one or the best one or anything like that. I'm just one of the many C++ resources out there on the internet. You can buy books, you can do whatever you want. But that's just what I think, which is why on my channel, that's what I'm going to teach. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you can hit the like button. The comments section below is made for discussion. So please let me know what you think and about your opinions about, um, you know, programming kind of C++ safely, I guess, but also what things you want to kind of, like if, if you think I'm focusing on the right things, if you think if you think I'm focusing on the wrong things, um, and your opinion about the whole smart point is, um, raw point is thing. I really want to read and reply to hopefully most of those comments and discord is the other really good place to check out, um, kind of further discussion on C++ in general and also all of my videos and all that stuff. Anyway, I'm really excited for what's coming in the future for this channel. Cause I mean, I think it's been a month since my last video and I've been both kind of dealing with kind of a bunch of stuff in my personal life as well as, uh, on the download kind of planning you know, the, the next year or so really of this channel. So I'm really excited to, um, uh, to get into that and, uh, and show you guys just all the cool stuff that's planned. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.